Let me take you through a little walk through memory lane back in 1997 when I came here at 17, right here in the old Joliet prison, but we called it the castle. Now let me take you through a little walk through memory lane. You know what the biggest difference is between now and then? Back in my day, we, the convicts, ran the joint and the guards just worked here. Now, the guards run the joint and the inmates just live here. We got the flashlights in here. Right. And right here at the Joliet Prison, if you remember the movie Blues Brothers, this right here is 415, John Belushi's old cell at the Joliet Correctional Center. Now let me take you to my old cell. Walking right here down the corridors in the old Joliet Prison, you never know what can pop out of here at the old Joliet prison, there's a lot of structural damage like this. But there's a crew that comes in here once a month trying to restore it so visitors can come in and check it out. This right here is the old gallery in which you come up and down in 316 is I guess what I used to call home, right? Now I spent about a month here back in 97 because it was receiving and it was classification. So you would be here temporarily until they send you to your prison from which you'll do your time at. Now they used to have beds in here, and I put my initials on the bed back in 1997, but unfortunately you can't see it, but this is what I used to call home, unfortunately. A lot of interest from the film industry, actually, to do stuff in here, but they come in, the problem is no power, no utilities, you can't really do, do much. So. We're right here between the two cell blocks, and if you remember the movie Prison Break, this is actually where they broke out at. On that chair! <laughs> we in here. Let's check out the old showers, right? Hey, so the old showers right here. This, now, now this was ironic right here, right? We come in the showers through here. We come in and I'm sure this was in plenty of movies, like that's sort of prison. But what I remember is they had so many people in here at one time. And you literally got people surrounding you. Don't you imagine a bunch of naked dudes in here just so they can shower real quick so you really have so much time. And it was usually flooded in here once the showers were going. So you got about six inches of water on the ground. You got the old school soap right there. Look at that. You even got the original toothpaste that they had in there. Yeah, that's the toothpaste right there. <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, I remember this like it was yesterday. And not good memories, but I guess grateful to be here now to show you. Their memories. Look, they even got the old toothbrushes coming here. Look at that. Somebody left their toothbrush. Somebody even left some soap up there. That's crazy. I remember taking a shower in here. And right here, we got the original death row where they once housed the electric chair. And right here in the movie Blues Brothers, it says it right there, it's never too late to mend. That's also another part of the movie. That's the corner of the wall. Let's take you one of the cells right here. Can you imagine? Spending your time in this cell. I mean, it's bigger than the other cells, but if you're not crazy before you get here, spending all your time in here will eventually make you crazy. Come and check out the yard. You should run out here. Look forward to some fresh air. You know, meet up with the guys. You know, get that money. And right here in Joliet on the yard, I remember vividly them having the phones, right? And this was the best time to use the phone because you can actually hear your people on the phone. When you're in the cell block, you can't hear shit. Yo, Chucky, where are we going? We're going to check out the weight pit. That's what we call it in this joint. We don't call it, you know, the gym or, you know, we call it the weight pit. That's where we go to get some money. Weight pit, baby. <laughs> This right here is the basketball court, and you already know I used to run that too, right? But what I used to really run is the handball court. And I mean, this is dilapidated, but every handball court I went to, I always ran. I'm talking about I had that kill shot and everything. But this right here, this yard, like any other one there, prison yard, except this is close. Hey, a lot of people don't know that even back in the day in the joint, if you couldn't get in a barber shop, you can always come out to the yard and get your hair cut, get a fade, whatever the case may be. You give them a pack of kites, you know, an envelope, whatever the case may be. I remember even back in the day, they used to give you pyramid cigarettes when you came in on the new. There's a lot of differences in the way people used to do time compared to the way we used to do it. 
This right here is one of the first 900 cells when the prison was first built, and then it was remodeled. So they took it out, and they put it right here. But look at how small that cell is in there. You know, I'll come too close because this might fall off, but and that's really old school right there. That's the original. And here we are in the old trial hall. You can see it on many movies, like let's go to prison and whatnot. But I remember vividly coming back to this line, coming up here to get my tray, giving my food, and then being about my way, right? I mean, it's not like how it used to be. But if you check out the graffiti on the wall over here, this is all new, but it, it all seems so familiar, you know? Even though it's 25 years ago, it still looks the same except for the graffiti on the wall. They're not being too uneasy there when they're trying to eat. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely need to experience like that. Go there and try to set the overcast. That right there is the old shotgun tower in the trial hall, right? And what they used to do is they used to shoot when there was a fight. And when they shoot, everybody gets down the ground. You can't see no more, but they used to have tiles up there, and you can see the bulk shots all over the city. And right here, we're in the old chapel. I remember coming here to meet up with the guys, right? Because you can not really see all the other guys when you're in the units and whatnot in the gallery. So everybody comes here for juntas and meetings right here in the chapel. They even got confession booths here in the old Joliet Correctional Center. But I really wonder how many times it's been utilized. Hmm. Now is the time to change your life, right? Because I don't want you to make the same mistakes I made. Walking through this prison right here has been surreal for me. And jails like this, prisons like this all over America, need to be closed because of the conditions. But I'm living proof that change is possible. And you can make a change for your life for the better no matter what you've been through. And I'm the epitome of that. You know what I mean? I, I appreciate everybody out there. I thank you. And tours are open for the old Joliet prison. Come check them out. Right here in Joliet, Illinois. Salute.